By this morning, repairs were underway on the road that leads to the residence of Fallen State Minister of Labor Charles Singola. It is a somber mood at the residence where his bodyguard, Private Wilson Sabiti, murdered him in cold blood. According to a tentative program from the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, on Tuesday 8th May, the body will lay in state at Parliament. On Wednesday 9th, there will be a requiem service at Kololo ceremonial grounds. Thursday, the body will be airlifted to Oyam district for a joint council meeting to pay tribute to the late. The body will be kept at his upcountry home in Awangi from Thursday to Friday 12th May 2023. Angola will be buried on Saturday 13th May 2023 at Awangi village. We shall then brief the vice president and uh, we have forwarded this program to the PPS of uh, His Excellency the President to uh, confirm uh, the program. Considering the person he is, uh, I believe we felt it wise that we give the people time to mourn mm -hmm. and the family also to give him a befitting burial. With Meanwhile, the saloon where Private Wilson Sabiti ended his life moments after killing the minister remains closed. The owner says she's contemplating transferring to another area. I'm saying they can't come back because we had them yesterday when we were still in the when the crowds were still around. Like I can't I can't come back to that like that saloon. They was they, they also shoot me from there. Something like that. You know when incidences happen. Of course, the place can't be the same again. Meanwhile, at Awangi village, in its MS sub-country in Oyam district, clan members and local leaders are holding burial preparation meetings. According to late brother Alex Oweta, the Langi culture dictates that the clan members dig his grave. This is our burial ground. Our fathers, our father, our mothers were buried here, and some of our brothers and sisters. That is why we have decided to bury him with his parents. Ali Mivule, NTV.